Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to you, my brother and my sister. My friends and family in Jesus Christ. Today or tonight, wherever you are, night or day watching from, I just want to share a testimony with you tonight. So tonight is a testimony of God's goodness towards me. Each and every one of us on this earth, somewhere, sometime, someplace, we all have something to give God thanks for. We all have something to shout about how wonderful, how loving, how great God is to it. But until when your eyes are open and you can see clearly that this is Jesus Christ of another doing. This is Jesus Christ of Nazareth doing. God has sent his son Jesus to the cross to be crucified for me and you. His blood was shed. And that blood that shed, it shed for forgiveness of our sins. And that's why tonight I want to say to you, I once was blind. But now I can see clearly the difference between wrongs and right. I was in darkness and Jesus Christ of Nazareth shine his light in me and show me the difference between wrongs and right. I was going down the wrong road. I was doing the wrong things. I was saying the wrong things. I was hanging out with the wrong company. Death was the next thing knocking at my door. Death. Because enough of my friend who I used to hang about with and do things and grow up with, they're gone. They're gone. But something have happened in my life. Jesus has seen something in me that worthwhile hanging on. Jesus have kept my life over seven times. Jesus have delivered me from different type of sickness, different situation, different situation. If you follow my videos and you hear how many times God has saved my life, I have been to death road. Death have knocked at my door several times. But Jesus said, not yet, not yet, not yet. I have works for you to do. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. The devil wants to take my life from the age of 10. The devil is trying to kill me from the age of 10. Before that, I sleep in bushes, kin peace, and the people house, but um, I sleep all about, I walk hours a night in dark. The devil been trying to kill me for a long time. But Jesus, the creator, the way maker, the deliverer, and the problem solver, he said, no, 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 this is my son. Jesus said, this is my son. Not yet. I have works for you to do. My brother, my sister, let me tell you. Is a reason why you're on this earth today. Is a reason why you're tuning to watch this video. Because God want to speak to you. God want to tell you about his goodness, his mercy, his love, and his tender care. 
God is shining his light in your pathway right now. That's why you're watching this video. God is speaking to you right now. He said, I am the light of the world. You're watching this video. God is speaking to you right now. Right here, right now. He said, I am the light of the world. I shine my light in you that you can see and know the difference between wrongs and right. Jesus said to tell you, the things I used to do, I do them no more. The place I used to go, I go there no more. The things I used to say, I say them no more. The things I used to watch on TV, I watch them no more. The friend I used to hang out with, I hang out with them no more. Because what? Jesus Christ of Nazareth have shined his light in me and show me the difference between right and wrong. Between night and day, between darkness and light, I can see the difference between wrongs and right. Jesus said to tell you, he, Christ Jesus, is the light of the world. And he wants to shine his light in you that you can see the difference between wrongs and right. You need to believe the word of God. Accept the word of God. Live as God to the word of God. Do what the word of God said. Jesus is speaking to somebody tonight. Today, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are, the voice of Jesus Christ through me to you. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes. Oh, man. This is getting funny now. <laughs> Smiling. His face. Jesus. The blood that Jesus shed on the cross is the same blood that washed me. Is the same blood that cleansed me. Is the same blood that deliver me. Is the same blood that set me free. Is the same blood why you alive today. But God said, I want to forgive you of all your sins. Don't say, I have no sin. Every one of us were born in sin. But the blood that Jesus shed wash us and cleanse us and deliver us from that sin when we accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I take that step. I accept Jesus Christ. I accept water baptism. And I walk as cardinal to Jesus' will and authority. Tonight, I want to share my testimony with you. Oh God, deliver me from prostate cancer. God has delivered me from a lot of things. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That was yes. funny that I ever have ever seen in my life before when doing funny. Just me love and that if I and I said, so keep watching his channel. Yes, Lord. Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Jesus has delivered me from a lot of situation. At the age of 10, drop in a precipice. Take over right now. Without you, I am nothing. I give my life. <laughs> I give my life. I give my mind, my body, my soul, and my spirit to your will. 
and I said, Lord, take over fully control. There is nothing I can do, and there is nothing I want to do without you. So I am saying, Lord, have mercy upon me, and grant me the ability to humble myself, to be faithful, and to do your will. Lord, I make a promise that wherever you send me, I will go. Whatever you ask me to do, I will do. In the name of Jesus, to you, God, all the glory, the honor, and the praise belongs to you. Hear and answer my prayer as I humble myself before you. And I say to you, God, all the glory belongs. Lord, hear my prayer tonight as I bring my neighbors, my surrounding neighbors, my giant neighbors. Lord, I pray that the grace of God and the power of God and the blessing of God will touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Jesus, take over fully control. Lord, remember those who are traveling tonight. Wherever they travel, hear land or sea, let the blessing of God, the anointing of God and the Holy Spirit of God touch, heal and deliver and set free. Jesus, without you, I am nothing. Lord Jesus, without you, I am nothing. I will just flesh, blood, rags, clay, without you. But Lord, I pray that the Spirit of God will live and dwell and work and operate within me. That whatever I do, I will do it in the name of Jesus. Wherever I go, I will go in the name of Jesus. So Lord, take over fully control. And as I bring this stone of loot before you, Lord, I bring loose the Pentecostal church. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will touch every person that connected to loose the Pentecostal church. Pastor Ferrer and his family, the elders, the deacons and the trustees, the members and the visitors, the president, worship team, the musician, the nurse, and the staff, and every department in Lucy Pentecostal. Let the grace of God, the power of God, and the anointing of God, and the Holy Spirit of God take over fully control. Jesus, this moment, I pray for every pastor, every leader, every bishop, every evangelist, every deacon, every person in the body of Christ. I pray, God, that you will lead and direct. <laughs> Jesus, cover them under the blood of Jesus. Cover them under the blood of Jesus. Let the power of God come upon them. That God, wherever they go, the Spirit of God will go with them. The Spirit of God will guide them and protect them because the enemy come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that the enemy will have no authority over the children of God. As they bring forth the word to deliver, let the power of God work through them. That God, wherever they lay their hand, wherever they speak, wherever they preach, wherever they teach, soul will be saved. Sick will be healed and deliver because Jesus, you are the healer and the deliverer. Lord, tonight I ask you to have your way as I surrender my life, my body, my soul and spirit to you. And I say, Lord, take over fully control, Jesus. <laughs> Lord, tonight let me take this moment to say, Lord, for each and every person under the sound of my voice, will watch this video to the end. God, grace and mercy be on you. The love of God guide and protect you as you travel for the rest of your life. I pray you will accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I pray you will receive the anointing of Jesus Christ and let the power of God lead you in the name of Jesus. Casa Baba Sunday. Jesus, whatever I fail tonight to mention, let the grace of God hear and understand. Calabasando, cover me, Lord. Cover me, Jesus. 
Cover me under the blood of Jesus. Cover me. That God, wherever I go, I will deliver your word without fear or chamber. I will deliver your word as you give me authority to do so. I will speak with authority that you give unto me. Lord, hear my prayer. Hear my prayer, Jesus. Take over fully control and have your way. I leave myself into your care. And I say, God, whatever I fail again to mention, I pray God that you will hear and understand. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory. God, I said one more time, if there's one thing I missed tonight that I should mention to you, and I've never, Lord, you hear and you know and you understand. So do you have your way and do your will in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That's it. Father, God, as they are about to go to sleep, let the power of God, the grace of God, the anointing of God cover us under the blood of Jesus. Lord, as we sleep, let the angel of God watch over us and guide and protect us. And I said, Lord, if it is your will to wake us up another time, to see another day in advance, I say, Lord, thank you. To God be the glory. Great and wonderful things you have done in my life and greater to come as I believe and trust in you. Have you with me? In Jesus' wonderful name, I pray to God be the glory. Thank you again for what you have done and thank you for what you are about to do. In Jesus' name. That's it. To my brother and to my sister and my viewers, may the good Lord bless and keep you. May the good Lord guide and protect you through the rest of your life. And thank you very much for stopping by. If it's the first time come across this channel and you never yet subscribed, please do so. Help the channel to grow that the love of God will reach other people. Share the video with your friends and family and let the word of God go forth in Jesus' name. God bless you. I will catch you on the next video. God bless you. That's it.